Becky Kennedy, Good Inside, A Guide to Becoming the Parent You Want to Be. Dive into the revolutionary parenting guide, Good Inside, A Guide to Becoming the Parent You Want to Be by Becky Kennedy, and explore the power of believing that every child is fundamentally good inside. This book helps you build stronger relationships with your children using principles like the most generous interpretation, MGI, and understanding that two things can be true at the same time. Learn how to maintain boundaries while acknowledging feelings, promoting resilience instead of mere happiness, and appreciating the importance of self-care and self-improvement. Your journey through this book will provide valuable insights and techniques to help you connect with your child and foster their inner goodness. Embracing Goodness Within Remember that every child carries innate goodness, even during challenging moments. By embracing the good inside belief, you'll interpret their behavior more generously and compassionately. Learn to accept that conflicting feelings can coexist, such as wanting things that aren't allowed. The key is not to change their emotions, but to honor their feelings while maintaining boundaries. This approach ultimately helps build better relationships with your children. Thoroughly understanding and accepting that your child possesses an inherent goodness serves as the foundation for better approaches to parenting. Looking past their occasional misbehavior, maintaining a positive view of their inner selves leads to a deeper understanding and more generous interpretations of their actions. When facing difficult situations, practice patience and empathy. Focus on finding the most generous interpretation, MGI, which encourages a compassionate response instead of reactive anger or blame. Simultaneously, embrace the truth that contradictory feelings can exist and that it's unnecessary to alter a child's emotions to adhere to specific ideals. The good inside method revolves around respecting your child's feelings while upholding necessary boundaries. As a parent, recognize that your role is to maintain those boundaries, not to manipulate their emotions. Fostering this kind of mindset and approach lays the groundwork for building healthier and more understanding relationships with your children. Never too late for change. Many parents worry that changing their parenting styles might be too late, but the reality is quite the opposite. While early years are influential in a child's life, it's never too late to make an impact, thanks to the brain's neuroplasticity. The early years matter because children form attachments, memories, and connections even without conscious recollection. A secure and loving environment enables children to be curious, explore, and test boundaries. How parents handle conflicts at this stage greatly influences the child's personality development. However, for parents who believe they may have missed this crucial window, there is still hope. The human brain possesses the remarkable ability to rewire itself based on new information, a process known as neuroplasticity. This means that even if past mistakes have been made, parents can work with their children to rewrite the ending. A vital step in this process is repair, reconnecting after a disconnection, apologizing for past actions, discussing alternative approaches, and empathizing with the child's perspective. So, no matter how late it may seem, it is never too late to make positive changes in your parenting approach. Building Resilient Kids Don't aim for your child's constant happiness, focus instead on fostering resilience. Encourage children to understand and trust their emotions while learning to manage reactions. To teach resilience, employ empathy, listening, acceptance, and presence, helping your child identify their strengths and develop problem-solving skills. Treat yourself with love and respect to become a better parent, embarking on a self-improvement journey. Whenever your child exhibits unexpected behavior, approach it with understanding and an open mind, using it as a window into their inner world. Happiness should not be the ultimate target for your child's emotional well-being. Negative feelings are a natural part of life, and it is crucial to support children in navigating these emotions rather than dismissing them. Concentrate on cultivating resilience in your kids, allowing them to handle their reactions, trust their feelings, and develop self-awareness. The road to building resilience requires abilities such as empathy, active listening, acceptance, and being present. 
As a parent, it's crucial not only to foster those traits in your child but also to embody them yourself. Nurturing your self-improvement journey plays a considerable role in your parenting and relationship with your child. When dealing with challenging behavior, remember it offers insight into your child's thoughts and emotions. Approach such instances with generosity and compassion, eager to understand what lies beneath the surface. This positive, connection-based mindset lays the foundation for raising resilient, emotionally equipped children. Healing Shame Through Connection To cultivate good relationships, individuals first need to understand and heal their own shame. Parents, in particular, can create meaningful connections with their children by identifying shame triggers and promoting open, honest communication. By understanding their children's emotions, parents can provide emotional security while fostering an environment of self-awareness and empathy. Additionally, practicing self-care is essential for parents, thus, allowing themselves to grow and become better role models for their children. Experiencing shame is a common occurrence in life, especially for parents. Acknowledging and addressing this shame can lead to personal healing and, in turn, improved relationships with others, particularly your children. Dealing with shame becomes essential for recognizing similar emotional reactions in your kids and guiding them through intricate feelings. Children often find themselves in situations where shame overpowers them. Using the example of a sibling disagreement, a child who lies about hitting their sister does so because they fear losing their parents' love and security. Parents can alleviate this fear by empathizing with their child's shame and helping them uncover the truth while ensuring their emotional well-being remains intact. Building a connection with your children serves as a remedy to shame. When children feel a strong bond with their parents, they're more likely to make the right decisions independently. Encourage this by fostering a safe and secure environment based on open, truthful communication. Answer your child's questions in simple, understandable terms to help them navigate their world and emotions. In the process of nurturing empathy and honesty in your children, remember to treat yourself with the same level of compassion. Self-care means fulfilling your needs, allowing your emotions to flow, and tending to any wounds from past mistakes. As a parent, Practicing self-care will make you a better example for your child to follow. The pathway to healing shame begins with establishing genuine connections. By forging a foundation of trust and empathy, parents and children can build a stronger, more resilient bond. Strengthening parent-child connections Fostering strong connections with your children requires continual effort. Schedule screen-free one-on-one time to focus on your child and discuss their feelings. Emotional vaccination involves discussing upcoming events, acknowledging fears, and sharing personal stories to strengthen connections. Remember that feelings are not the problem, but feeling isolated in those emotions is. Establish a metaphorical, feeling bench to offer a safe space for your child to discuss their emotions. Embrace the process of repair, which inevitably strengthens relationships, by reflecting, acknowledging, expressing improvement, and connecting with curiosity in understanding. While it does not eliminate all undesirable behaviors, connection building cultivates an environment for your child's goodness to shine. Unraveling children's bad behavior. Children exhibit bad behavior due to a lack of connection, unmet needs, or underlying fears. Instead of increasing your volume, try connecting with your child and understanding the root of the issue. Address emotional tantrums by ensuring safety and connecting on a deeper level. For attachment issues like sibling rivalry or lying, empathize and aid the child in feeling safe without the behavior. Rudeness, defiance, and whining result from a child feeling powerless, help them regain control within appropriate boundaries. Bad behavior in good kids arises from a lack of connection, unmet needs, or fear. If your child isn't listening, don't try to talk louder. Take a break, reconnect, and then express your wishes. High emotional demands cause reactions like emotional tantrums, aggressive tantrums, and anxiety. Children struggling to regulate these demands may express them through their bodies. As a parent, your primary goal is safety. If necessary, 
physically remove or restrain your child while expressing that you won't allow dangerous behavior. Establishing boundaries ensures a sense of security. When safety is in place, connect and explore the reasons for their loss of control. Honesty is crucial during this process. Attachment issues, such as sibling rivalry or lying, often stem from a fear of losing connection or belonging. Strengthen your bond, empathize, and communicate openly to ease their fears. The main objective is to foster a secure environment where the unwanted behavior dissipates naturally. Powerlessness can trigger rudeness, defiance, or whining. These behaviors can be tough to handle, so evaluate your feelings before confronting your child. Discuss your responsibilities and their responsibilities within the parent-child relationship. Assist them in finding control that respects established boundaries, building trust in your guidance and nurturing their growth. In summary, address negative behaviors by understanding their root causes, connecting with your child, and guiding them towards healthier alternatives. Tackling issues with empathy and setting boundaries will foster a secure and supportive environment for their development. Understanding Childhood Behaviors Parents often worry about completely normal behaviors in children, such as shyness, frustration intolerance, food challenges, tearfulness, and perfectionism. These behaviors usually stem from a child's need to control their environment. Encourage children by trusting their feelings and allowing them to navigate through tough situations. This will help them develop resiliency and confidence as they grow. Be supportive and share your own experiences as they learn to trust their feelings. As parents, we must recognize that behaviors like shyness, frustration intolerance, food challenges, tears, and perfectionism are just natural reactions of children as they strive to gain control over their surroundings. When a child hesitates to participate in a group, it's actually beneficial, showing they're trying to comprehend the scenario before diving in. Supporting your child during these moments entails addressing their concerns and not forcing them into uncomfortable situations. Enabling them to trust their feelings is crucial for their emotional development. Frustration intolerance, frequent crying, and perfectionism also arise from a child's desire to control their environment. Your role isn't to eliminate these feelings in your child but rather to guide them in navigating through these emotions. Encourage your child to persevere even when they're frustrated. Be empathetic by sharing your own experiences and providing a safe space for them to express their emotions. Food-related disputes can typically be attributed to parent-generated conflicts. Providing for your child's sustenance is a fundamental aspect of parenting, and when your child rejects food, it may feel like a direct attack. Keep in mind, your duty is to offer them healthy meals, not force-feed them. Aim for your child to develop resiliency and confidence as they mature, enabling them to deal with difficult situations, understand consent, establish boundaries, and foster relationships. Reinforcing their trust in their own feelings is essential for their confidence. Model that trust by supporting them during emotional highs and lows, maintaining boundaries, and helping them recognize their inner goodness. As you conclude your journey through Good Inside, embrace the powerful parenting techniques and principles that emerged from this summary. Focus on being empathic, acknowledging your child's feelings, and maintaining boundaries. Remember the role of resilience, self-care, and self-improvement in raising well-rounded individuals. Keep working towards building connection capital, addressing shame, and distinguishing between normal and unwanted behaviors. Through the insights gained from this guide, you'll be better prepared to build strong connections with your children, help them recognize their inherent goodness, and foster their individual growth and self-confidence.